I'm Pam Volz. Um, I live in Frisco. My husband Greg has been in ministry for 45 years. We travel and I, I love that. Um, I've gotten to go with him literally all over the world. I was sitting in the living room. I thought I had eaten something that didn't agree and I began to get some pain just kind of in my lower throat and I thought, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to have a little indigestion. And within a few seconds, it went from here all the way down and then it started, then it went into my back all the way down the same and I felt like I was being crushed. I knew when the uh, EMT guys got there, they hooked me up to the EKG and they said, we have to get her to the hospital now. As soon as the ambulance got here, uh, we all got into action and worked as a team. As we were getting the patient ready for the cath lab, her heart stopped. It actually stopped three times within a 10 minute period. The cath lab team gets activated, including myself. And this is where time is, a, you know, an emergent type of situation. I knew the way she looked that she was sick and we had to go proceed fast. So in this case, we had to use three stents, one going down the, what we call the side branch, and then two going up the main vessel. So you can see after balloons and stents, I've reconstructed this branch point blockage area and restored the blood flow. He put the stents in and the pain went away. Once Dr. Kroc opened it up, um, Pamela was pain free and we saved her life. Her prognosis for this type of heart attack is excellent. I love Medical City Frisco. I couldn't have had better care. Everyone, every attendant, every nurse, everyone who took care of me was wonderful. It's uh, emotional and exciting and very uh, gratifying when so many people are involved and it's such an amazing outcome. You just feel lucky to be part of it. We're actually going on a, a little trip uh, to Cabo San Lucas in a few days and Dr. Croc said, uh, you don't have to live in a bubble. He said, we want you to have a full life. I think I still have a lot of life to live and I'm grateful to have that second chance.